Hey everyone, and thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. Today, we're going to talk about Bitcoin and logarithmic regression. If you guys like the content, please subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, also check out the Telegram channel, which you can find a link to in the description below. Let's go ahead and jump in. So we've showed this chart many times. Uh, this was a, a fan favorite for the duration of the bear market because we were just chugging along, accumulating Bitcoin. And in the same way that we've popped out of the regression band many times in the past, we've done it yet again. And obviously we, we exited the regression band uh, a couple months ago. And since then, the price of Bitcoin has mostly been trending up. Now, one of the interesting things about a chart like this is that it makes us wonder, is there anything from this regression line that's fit to quote unquote non-bubble data that can be useful in terms of looking at extension from the regression line? Um, and obviously, this stuff is somewhat dubious, right? It, you know, we're, we're first assuming that this is non-bubble data. We are extrapolating from prior peaks and looking to see where could the next peak theoretically end up. And my contention, by the way, none of this is financial advice. My contention is that the, the height at which we can go will ultimately depend on the time it takes us to get there. That's more or less what I think. Now, if you look closely, you can see that the extension from our fair value regression band gets closer and closer each market cycle peak. So we may expect that whenever the next market cycle peak is, it will be closer to say the fair value rather you know, than it was the time before. Now, the fair value can somewhat be a comical thing. According to the current regression model, the fair value is around $12,000. But in no way, shape, or form am I suggesting that Bitcoin is going to go back to $12,000. You can see that we left the regression band back in 2017 at $1,000, and we didn't return back to it until $3,000. So it had gone up 3x by the time we had returned to it. In the same manner, you can see we left the regression band around 13 k or so. We may not return to the regression band until the price of Bitcoin or until the fair value of the regression band gets to 40 or 50 k potentially, and it could be years away. So we have to recognize that the time we spend above the regression band can go on for years, and that it's not necessarily like 2019 every single time where we just poke our head above it and then come back down. But in terms of looking at the extension from the 20 week, or sorry, not the 20 week, in terms of looking at the extension from say the fair value regression band, what we can do is we can look at the percent difference, okay? By the way, this is just extending it out. We can look at the percent difference. And by the way, I will remind you guys, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Let's go for 120,000 subscribers. I do appreciate you guys supporting the channel. So make sure you subscribe, give the video a thumbs up, and also check out the Telegram channel. All this you can find a link to in the description below. So this chart shows the basically the percent difference between the price and the fair value logarithmic regression trend line. And one of the interesting things is you can see that it generally is decreasing, right? Each market cycle peak is not as far extended as the prior one when measuring it in reference to this regression band. So the question becomes, can we use this as a tool to help get an idea of when we're getting to a market cycle peak or at least a local peak? Um, and so, Obviously, the answer to that question remains up in the air. We, we simply do not know. We cannot definitively say one way or another, but what we can do is we can project out what would the price of Bitcoin have to get to right now, or say in the next week, for it to get back up to this macro level trend line down. That is what we could ultimately look at. And you might say, well, it looks like we're already relatively close. This is a logarithmic scale. So each of these ticks that end up getting closer and closer to together are another 100% up, right? This is 100%, 200, 300, 400, 500. So this, while it might not it might not look like much, it is a pretty substantial move. For instance, if you were to look at where this currently would be, it would be around a 550% overvaluation from the fair value trend line for us to reach this macroscopic downtrend of the price of Bitcoin with respect to the regression line. Now, the current quote unquote fair value of Bitcoin is approaching 12K. It's around 12K. 
Um, and so if we were to reach this area up here, it would correspond to a valuation, an overvaluation from the fair value at the present day of approximately 550%. Now, if the fair value is 12,000, and to reach this trend line, it would correspond to an overvaluation of 550%, then we just have to multiply this by 6.5. You might say, well, is it not 5.5? No, remember, 100% is a 2x, so a 500% is 6x, therefore 550% would be 6.5. So a 6.5 multiple on the fair value is 12, of $12,000 would actually put it at $78,000. So for us to reach this point up here, we would need to get to approximately $78,000 plus or minus a few K, right? What's a few K among friends? Now, one thing we have to remind you is that there's no definitive thing saying that this has to peak here. It could come above it. It could come below it. So far, we only have three data points. And you know, some maybe come slightly up to it, some extend into it. But the point is to say we simply have no idea exactly where a, a peak could be. Another thing to consider is that so there's a lot of different theories, right? There's a lot of different market cycle theories. Right now, if we continue this pace upward, we would reach this point in a few weeks, you know, for, forget, you know, later on, we would reach this point in a few weeks at around close to $80,000. However, if the peak comes later on, say in late 2021, then it might correspond to things cooling off for a while before trending back up. And then from there, we would look at the overvaluation. And you might say, well, you said the more time it takes, the higher we should go. But this looks like it'd be a lower overvaluation. Well, yes, it would be a lower overvaluation from the fair value trend line. But by that time, the fair value of Bitcoin could be 20K. It, you know, it could be 19K, 20K or something. So then if you're looking at, say, a 400% overvaluation from 20K, then you're gonna be looking at a price higher than $80,000, right? You just multiply by five and you would get to 100K. So the longer it takes, the more likely, the higher we are to likely fly. The, the quicker we go up, I would imagine we would have much less uh, gas in the tank. And this somewhat makes intuitive sense from a fundamental standpoint because of you know, the idea of institutional money coming in. Obviously the more institutional money that can continue to come into the space, should help with the price of, of Bitcoin. So if it were to happen, say, by the end of 2021, then it might correspond to closer to $100,000 Bitcoin if we could, if we were to able maintain the integrity of this macro level trend line down. On the other hand, if it took longer and took, say, out to 2022 or even later, we would be looking at lower levels of overvaluation from the fair value trend line, most likely, However, the fair value by that point could be $40,000. And so, you know, a 250% or a 300% overvaluation from 40K is going to get you well above six figures. So my contention is that ultimately it depends on how long it takes us to get there. If you look at the levels of overvaluation from each peak compared to each regression trend line, the first one was 5,000%, this was 3,000, this was 1,000. So far, if we were to go up there, Tomorrow, it would correspond to a 550% overvaluation. If it took us another year or two, it might correspond to a 300% overvaluation or a 250% overvaluation or 400. It all depends on how long it takes us to get there. So, of course, you know, we've talked a lot before about lengthening cycles and, and the data suggesting that the cycles are lengthening. Obviously, with this recent surge, we'll have to, I mean, we'll have to play things you know, we'll have to go one week at a time and see what ultimately transpires. Um, but right now, we are still, I think we're trading at around 46K or so. So in order to get to 78K, it, I mean, it doesn't even need to go up 2X more. Uh, a 2X from here would get us even above this line if it were to happen in, say, the next week. Uh, a 2X from here that took us two years to, to do would, you know, it would not necessarily get us above the line because, again, the fair value would be trending up each and every week. So I think we'll just have to play things uh, by ear, see how things uh, you know pan out over the next few weeks and months, see if we ultimately get a correction and where we in which we cool off for a while, or if we end up just completely going into manic bubble speculation mode and continuing to push the upper limits. Um, if you look at this on the on a log log scale, 
it's an interesting view. Uh, but you can see, generally speaking, when we're in the regression line, it's a historically great time to accumulate Bitcoin. And when we're above it, we're more or less in no man's land. And we don't know when the cycle peak will come exactly, but we certainly have our different models to try to give us some insight into that. If you guys like the content, remember we have the premium list. If you want to lock in the lower rate for the altcoin season sale, I would suggest clicking on the link in the description below. You'll get access to weekly reports, weekly premium videos, the Telegram Alerts channel, the Risk dashboard, and we also are going to start doing more premium-only live streams. We did we did one earlier today. We're probably going to end up doing more of those. Uh, I imagine I'll focus more and more on, on that stuff as the market cycle progresses. So make sure you guys check that out if you want to lock in the lower rate. Subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and check out the Telegram channel, which you can find a link to in the description below. That'll wrap it up for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.